Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we're looking at the Intel HD Graphics 4600 integrated graphics, which is featured on most of the Intel processors of the fourth generation, so the Haswell CPUs. In my case, I'll be using the flagship Core i7 4770K CPU. Please keep in mind, the i7 4770K features the Intel HD Graphics 4600 integrated graphics. However, let's say we compare the iGPU performance with the one of the i5 4670K, which also features the same Intel HD Graphics 4600 iGPU. The integrated graphics of the i5 will perform a little bit worse, but not by much. In GPU-Z you can see some specs. The integrated graphics needs DDR3 memory. It doesn't have dedicated RAM, so when using the integrated graphics, the iGPU will use some of your system memory. In the BIOS, you can easily choose how much memory you want to give the iGPU. The more, the better of course in most cases. One of the highlights with this iGPU is the DirectX 11.1 support. We have a 128-bit bus width here and the bandwidth doesn't look bad at all either. At the time of this video, I of course use the latest drivers. And depending on your motherboard, you will also be able to overclock the iGPU separately to squeeze out just a little bit more performance. But now let's move on to the benchmarks and see how well the iGPU does. So there you have it. Intel definitely improved the integrated graphics a lot compared to the previous generation. The Intel HD Graphics 4600 iGPU can pretty much be compared with AMD's Radeon HD 8670D iGPU, which is featured on the flagship APU model A10-6800K at the time of this video. There are games and tests out there that say the Intel HD Graphics 4600 performs better and other games and tests say the opposite. But overall, AMD's iGPU still is better, I think you'll agree with me. But now let's not compare the different iGPUs. What can I say about the performance? Honestly, both the Intel HD Graphics 4600 and the AMD Radeon HD 8670D iGPUs are not good for gaming. When playing at lower settings or even lowering the screen resolution, you will get good results. But that's not the best gaming experience then. So long story short, if you're serious about gaming, then there's no way out than getting a decent discrete graphics card. And that's all I have to say here basically, it's just okay. Pros are huge performance increase over the previous generation iGPUs and the iGPU is able to handle games at lower settings. For the cons I have to say, there's not enough performance for a decent gaming experience. I give the Intel HD Graphics 4600 integrated graphics a 7 out of 10, but I can't say I recommend it, since you actually have no choice. It's integrated graphics in your Haswell processor. 
Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12stackx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.